Countdown on Midtown. This map may present quite a challenge to some teams. The constant and quick change from close quarter combat to long range combat can be a struggle if you aren't quite set up properly for it. That as well as the points are polar opposites. While the Rugs bomb site is super compact, the market site is wide open. This makes the decision your team makes super important with how you play the round. As always, a good team with solid communication is key to going flawless. These are just strategies for the map that make your time much easier. Let's start off with the weapons. For your primary and energy slots, I would recommend using a scout rifle paired with an auto rifle, SMG, or pulse rifle. Since this map has really long sight lines and really close corridors, this combination lets you fight in both situations if they present themselves. For a power weapon, you can easily make any type work besides linear fusion rifles. With that said, you will find the most success with rocket launchers and fusion rifles. For defense, it sometimes gets tricky predicting what way the enemies are going to push. To aid in this, send two or three people to the left Rugs bomb site just to keep an eye on it. The remaining one or two members should head to the right just to see if red appears on their radar. Do not peek the street this early on, because if they're waiting for you, you'll get team shotted and die instantly. For a safer way to check if they're pushing street, use the hallway that connects the street and the middle lane. You can tuck yourself into the corner of the hallway and see if there's red on your radar. The only downside to the strategy is the enemy sometimes won't appear if they push the very edge of the map. At this point, your team will know what side the enemies are pushing. Just rotate to defend the objective. If a member on your team feels confident, they can flank around the backside of the enemies. This map makes it super easy to go around without being detected. Just keep in mind that lots of teams will choose to rotate if they feel overwhelmed at a bomb site. So just be ready to answer the rotation with your own. That and it's very possible enemies will try to flank your team or push both bomb sites with two members each. Just answer this by keeping two of your own members on either side. Last thing is to remember that they have to plant the bomb or kill your whole team, so there is no need to overpush or peek unnecessary locations. Some good spots for defending are the elevated corridor to the left when you spawn. This can get a good sight line at their middle entrance to rugs. For defending market if they push, between the buildings to your right when you spawn can add for nice cover and a quick getaway. For offense, it gets a bit trickier, but there are some strategies that tend to work well. The first one would be to rush the Rugs bomb site. Rugs is closer to your spawn and has more cover on your way there. If you're able to get there quickly and get the charge planted, then the only thing you have to worry about is defending it. This does, however, come with a caution if they begin pushing you before you can get it planted. This only works if you're able to get a few seconds of free time before all four of them notice and start to push you. While a teammate is getting it down, the rest of your team should be giving cover fire across streets and down middle. Once you get it planted, just get to a safer sightline and protect it as a team. In most cases, the enemies will push from their spawn street, the metal staircase, and the chance of flanking around from your spawn area. As long as you lock these down, enemies will find it hard to push in for the defuse. A second option is to take the path all the way to the left and follow the ledge. In most cases, enemies won't push up far enough to see you on their radar until it's too late to make the call to the rest of their team. Your team can then overwhelm them from the left pathway and the main street. After getting this charge planted, it's fairly simple to defend if you don't make any bad peaks. Their only ways in are wide open streets with very limited cover to hide and small hallways that you can shoot to stop them from coming through. If your team needs to take some pressure off of a certain site because you can't push into plant, Back your whole team up and send someone to go to the opposite side just to act as a distraction. In most cases, they will rotate because they think your team has swapped bomb sites. Then use this time to head back into the original site with the rest of your team and plant the charge. If you feel like your team needs to play the round slower, just look for picks before going into any bomb site. Just make sure you don't take too long because the enemies will catch on and overrun you. That's the strategies for Flawless on Midtown. This map can be very frustrating to play in some cases due to the pathways that connect all the parts of the map together. But as long as you can communicate well with your team and hit your shots, the flawless will come. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.